Hi guys, Ulrich here. So again, this is yet another video that is for my article, for huge article, really big long article on my website around guitar chords. Anything you need to know about chords, we start really simple with easy chords. What is a chord? What's the difference between a major and an A minor or an A7 chord? How to learn them, how to play them, where to go, where to go in order to learn new chords and all that kind of stuff. In the previous video, we looked at open chords and we used the A major chord as an example. In this video, I want to look at a number of other A chords but this time the A minor and the A7. I'm gonna zoom you in and explain everything in detail. So please read the article to, to get the full context about on around what we're doing here. So as you have learned from the article, a chord consists of three or is, is comprised of three or more individual notes. And as for the A major chords, you have, since you play the A string right here, which is part of the chord, you have the note A obviously which makes sense it's an A but then also for the index finger this note here which is an E is also part of the chord so here you have the open A then you have here an E the next note you play is again an A and then the next one which you do, which you play with your ring finger is a C sharp and then lastly you have another E so a total of three, diff three, three notes, A, E, and C sharp, make up the A major chord. So now let's look at the A minor chord. This is how you play an A minor. And let's look at the three notes that make up the A minor. You have again the A, obviously, that's your root note. Then we're moving on to the E, which is, pretty, which is the same as for the major. Moving on, you have the A again. So, so far we have A, E, A, and then look, the next one is now a C. So you have A, E, C, and then another E, because you also play the last string, right? That's your A minor. Now the A7, for example, it's very easy to play. You just play an A major and remove the middle finger and then you have the A7. You play the same strings. So, and, and again, that means you have an A, you have an E, and now here you have a G, C sharp, and E. So again, A, E, G, C sharp, and E. That's four notes that make up the A7. So again, the purpose of this video was to provide you a little bit more context around what we discuss in the article that I referred to. Again, there's a link up here somewhere. Read the article if you haven't done it yet done it yet and I just wanted to show you the difference between major chords, minor chords and seventh. Of course there is more, many more chords um, for each chord group. So, But for the purposes of this video I wanted to keep things very simple and kind of highlight the most commonly used chord and chord variation. So we, we stuck to major, minor and the seventh. If you have any questions, as usual, leave a comment below the video. Please leave a like before you go. If you're not a subscriber yet, then I invite you to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye bye.